Hello, so a lot of you have been asking me how I use the Anki Droid flashcards app for remembering um, things that you constantly forget. And um, in this video, I'll just demonstrate how to use the Anki app. So this is what it looks like on Play Store. Um, memorize anything with Anki Droid. So that's what this is description says. And it's like the app just so much justice to the description. I mean... Um, you know it's just like it's like a space repetition app so if you learn something over and over again you're bound to remember it and that's what Anki does for you so um let's get started i'm just gonna open the app and show you how it works so um this is the home screen this is what it looks like um there's a default deck deck is basically a place where you can sort things like um, into subjects into you know whatever you want so i'm just going to create a deck as an example so let's say i'm a first year stu medical student studying anatomy and um say biochemistry and physiology oops so this is how i sort my decks into subjects now, say there's something about anatomy that I keep forgetting over and over again. So, I'm just going to click on the add option over here to add a deck into anatomy. So, um, you know, you can just change the deck just by clicking here. If it's a biochemistry card, just put it into biochemistry and so on and so forth. So, the front of the card would be something that I keep forgetting. So, let's say... Um, um, which nerve is injured in wrist drop? Oops. And the answer would be radial nerve. And then I just click on the arrow right here to save it. And you can add like multiple cards. So what is the function of biceps? break your eye muscle and um, I can write the answer right here supination and flexion right and so I've saved these two cards now I just click on the anatomy deck to study these cards so which nerve is injured in wrist drop and say I remember this from the back of my head radial nerve so I'm just gonna put, click on the four day easy options this card will come to me after four days right and then what is the function of biceps breaker and suppose i forgot this i i just say extension instead of flexion so i'm going to click on the less than one minute card and it will show it to me again in less than one minute so i keep clicking on um spacing the intervals till it's a larger interval so say if you keep forgetting the card just use smaller intervals to um, remember the card and if you remember the card then use longer intervals that you know after four days it shows to you and then after 10 days it shows the same card so but at at any point if you forget this card which you've been spacing for longer intervals say after six months i forgot what the uh, what the answer was i'm just going to click on the less than one minute option so that it comes back to me and then i start my repetition again so that's how it works um adding individual cards is a very tedious process so what you can do is get shared decks of people who have already made these anki cards online so um as an example there are so many us amelie decks there's a golihan notes deck it's amazing these cards um you can just like uh, go through these cards and just pick the decks that you really like and um install them see the this deck has like ten thousand cards in it so you can just preview and see if they're like good cards um delete um download whatever you want and um have them and study them so let me just check if there are any medical awesome cards oh yeah so what anki does is um i'm just gonna download it oh it's already downloaded whoops all right so i'm gonna just gonna open this um deck it's um in the apkg format 
and I imported 60 cards from the APGK file. Um, since my Anki settings is showing only 20 cards per deck, that's why instead of 60 cards, you, you're going to just study 20 cards today. You can change the settings by going here and going into reviewing settings and, um, you know, changing. There are like so many options for you to explore. So say psychiatry and um, there's a question on OCD um and you know just depending on what you remember and what you do not remember you can go through these now even after you download like a bunch of decks it's just haywire to just study you know things from other people's decks right so what i personally do is that i create my own deck and um well let me just create a deck and you can create your own deck with your own name um for an example i'm just gonna use i can uh psychiatry deck okay and uh, say i've studied schizophrenia today um so really if i've studied schizophrenia i don't want to like review cards from um ocd and things like that right so i go to the card browser option and you can click on all decks or any specific deck that you want to search your card from i'm just going to click on all decks because it's so easy to like search from all of the decks and there's a card on schizophrenia duration so if it's less than one month it's brief psychiatry i really like this card so i'm just going to shift this card from psychiatry medical awesome to i can psychiatry so um this way you can have your own cards put in one deck right and you don't have to like review cards made by other people which might not be necessarily helpful to you so this is how i do it um so you would create like a bunch of decks like i can anatomy i can biochemistry and when biochemistry decks downloaded from other sources you can just shift cards from those decks into your deck to make it easy for you to study so um what else yeah so um anki has this terrible option is that whenever i share my decks on anki um if it does not have sufficient downloads um it just removes it from anki so obgyn and psychiatry are like the only decks that survived anki's removal option so um i share these decks online on medical awesome let me just go check them out um where is it where is it where is it? oh yeah so um i've shared them on google drive so you can just download any of the decks that you want from it um well i'm just gonna show you how images work so i'm just gonna download the off tile deck i think it has less flashcards and a lot of images so it will um load pretty quick and there it is so um i'm just gonna add uh, 19 cards into off tile and um well oh yeah so look at this image based flashcard that i've made so um this is a fundoscopy finding of something that i don't remember right now um it's central retinal wear occlusion so if you see these images over and over again you're bound to remember them and i can create like a lot of image based flashcards like this so how i do this is that um i go to google images and um I just search for something like, uh, oops, Genia Capitus, and then go to the images option and then look at all of these images. And I take a screenshot of the image that shows the maximum number of images, right? And um, I just add it in my deck. Um, you know if you've created like created like um a dermat deck so for demonstration i'm just gonna use i can dermatology and just like add a card using the add image option so that's how it works earlier i think google would not show the um diagnosis 
um, with the image but um, well that's how I would do it you know earlier Google images was a different format so any guesses on what this is um, bacterial keratitis oh and this should be hemorrhage yeah vitreous hemorrhage so this is how i study image based flashcards um you can just go to google click a screenshot and if you see the same image over and over again or different types of images then you are more likely to remember them so um you know just it's very helpful for domad for oftal and um yeah that's how i do with the image based flashcards um let me just check if i've included everything in this video so yeah just create like just get a lot of shared decks from um a lot of different resources and download them put them in your flashcard decks so if you have like a bunch of decks you can um when you go to the card browser option and search for something you will see multiple cards um regarding um from that from any of the decks and then the cards that you really like you can like um shift them to your deck and study from them and yeah and then anki also has like um a sign in option so you know your your um, flashcards will never get deleted and um, and it syncs on various devices like your laptop your iPad so it's super helpful it really helped me is um, most of my tests I did not use it for step one but I did use it for step two CK and step three and it was super helpful um, the decks that I have shared on uh, my Google Drive are mostly my step two CK decks and um, yeah and if you want to download all of them at once you can definitely go to my google drive and request the deck i have not made it public because of um uh, some reason but yeah and uh, i hope this video was helpful and stay awesome